Hi everybody, Deborah and Bandit here. Today I'm going to tell you about our trip through New Mexico. Now I went through seven states in six days, so I'm going to share more about all of that later, but today I'm going to tell you about the treacherous time we had in New Mexico because I really did get run out by security and the police at a gas station because I stayed too long walking my dog and getting coffee. And I'm not kidding. Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about that. Like I said, I went through seven states in six days to get back out west after I left Chuck and Luddy's in Alabama, and I'll tell you about that. But right after I left Texas and crossed over into New Mexico, before I tell you about the why I'm telling you it's a traveler's hazard, or at least it was for me to go through New Mexico, before I knew that, I stopped at, I, I, well, I saw a sign on the highway and I just couldn't help myself but do a little bit of adventuring. <laughs> and it was about Billy the Kid's grave. And you had to go several miles off the road to get to it. But I enjoyed that. And they have to have it under a, him and his pals that are buried there, they have to have them under a fence and locked guard gate because they uh people keep stealing his headstone and i just thought that was just horrifying but um i enjoyed walking around there and so did bandit i didn't plan on flying through new mexico in fact i was going to stop in albuquerque there was a rest area that i had as a backup you guys know me i always have to have a backup for a backup for a backup and i was even going to go by and see rusty 78609 and if you haven't seen my interview with him check that out you can uh, click the link above but i didn't get to do any of that because as i moved into new mexico progressively it was hostile to travelers on the neon signs over the highway, it would say, uh, get tested for COVID. Here's the number to call if you're a New Mexico resident. If you're, and basically, I don't remember the exact wording and I'm going down the highway, I-40, so I couldn't stop and get a picture, but it basically said something about it, it, you know, and if you're not a New Mexico resident, please keep traveling. And there were times when I would get low on gas and I would pull off and uh, the, the casinos would be closed except to truckers. I couldn't even get, there were like three places that I stopped to get gas and they were either they were out of gas or it was closed. And I don't think it's that bad now. And I don't know what it was about the day that I went through there. But I really did almost run out of gas. And there were even subdivisions closed if you got off. And, and like when I went to go look for a gas station in one town, and, and it, it, they just should have put up warnings. I, you know, don't stop here for gas. You, you, there isn't any. And, and uh, anyway, uh, it, subdivisions and villages and everything were even closed. And that's okay. I, I'm not taking exception with that. And so, you know, nobody needs to defend New Mexico to me. I, 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 I Whatever they need to do is fine, but put out travel advisories, tell people so that you know. And so my fourth try, I found a gas station and I stopped and I filled up and I walked Bandit and I'm, and I think, I think, well, I'm going to keep traveling. And I, and I texted Rusty and, and bless his heart. And Rusty, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I, I was like, Rusty, I can't come see you. I'm freaking out and I gotta, I gotta keep going. And, and, uh, anyway, so I, I texted Rusty and I kept going and I knew I needed some coffee. So I parked, I, I, I mean, I got, I filled up with gas and I pulled over to the side and in a parking space and I, I walked Bandit. And I went in the back of the van and I was just heating up water to make instant coffee. I wasn't even like brewing, taking time to brew coffee or anything. And all of a sudden a security guard was in front of me and a policeman behind me and um, some other kind of Leo. I, I don't, I don't know what they were. They might've, I don't know what they were. Um, all three cars were different, but they were all security and police. And I think the other one might've been highway patrol. I don't know. They were to the left of me. And when the guy got out, the security guard parked in front of me. And, and when he got out, he's telling the highway patrol, I got this, you go on and you know, I'll take care of this. And I don't know why they were all arguing over who was going to take care of me. I was just walking my dog and making coffee and getting gas and going on my way. And so he came up to the, uh, I know Bandit's like, ah, I remember that. Anyway, he came up to the window and he was like nose to nose at the window. And, and I said, I held up my coffee cup and I'm like, cause I'm sitting in the back, right? Where I cook. 
And I'm like, I'm just making coffee and I'm going to be on my way. Is there a problem? He goes, five minutes. You got five minutes. And I'm like, okay, sir. And, you know, and so he he left and I'm like freaking out and, and my water wouldn't boil. The tea kettle wouldn't whistle. And I was like, oh crap. So I just turned it off and I just drove and um, it, I had enough adrenaline going. I didn't need coffee. And, um, and so this next clip you're going to see, you can see how tired I am. And I mean, I planned on making two or three stops in New Mexico, not driving all the way across east to west on, uh, on the state. And so you can see how tired I am in this clip. Watch that and I'll be right back. Since the policeman scared me off or told me I had to leave, it scared me. And I didn't get to finish making my coffee and I forgot to shut my vent. So I'm going to have to pull off and take care of that. Oh, Lordy. You know, I I, I, I uh, closed my vents and, and I just kept going and I decided right then and there, I'm just going to drive all the way through uh, New Mexico. I, I'm too freaked out. I'm not going to stay, try to stay anywhere in, in the state. And like I said, my adrenaline was already going and so I could do that. And um, I so what I did was I would get behind truckers. I, I used to go uh, nationwide with my Uncle Thomas. He was a, an 18 wheeler truck driver and uh, I would he would make me put my hair up my hat and everything and and I, I was young I was uh, uh, junior high age and and it was so fun to go with him in the summers and um, I, I so I knew how to get behind a truck and not get too close and, and, and go with them and and not get in their way or anything and, and so I did that and then one truck would exit and I'd get hooked up with the next one and that's how I got all the way through New Mexico and guys I was so tired by the time I landed in uh, Flagstaff and I'll tell you about that on my next video but I just wanted to say uh, you know be sure you check it out this I this was last week it wasn't that long ago I am um, out west now and I'll tell you more about that but um, you know check it out call I don't know how you check that out I mean they, they now tell you Gallup's closed and and I know things are opening up but not in New Mexico wasn't my experience so anyway enjoy the rest of the video please stay tuned for some more scenes and, and pictures and thank you for being here on this journey with Bandit and me mm -hmm.